Hi, I'm Jack from LegalExpert.co.uk and today I'm going to be taking a look at broken shin surgery. We're going to go over the dangers of what can go wrong. Important things to look out for before your surgery and tips to help your recovery. If you've been involved in an accident which has resulted in an injury to your shin, you may require surgery in order to correct any broken shin bones so that they're able to heal. Now, the idea of getting surgery can be extremely daunting to many people, and understanding what is going to happen to them during the surgery will often ease a person's worries. One of the biggest worries that those involved in accidents have is the wait time and quality of service they may get. Now, whilst we were in no way attempting to criticise the tireless work done by NHS staff, it was recently highlighted in the news and in Parliament that English NHS surgeons operate on the wrong part of someone's body four times a week, according to figures from April to November 2019. Now, before we get started on our guide to broken shin surgery, one way of getting higher quality surgery is that if you've broken your shin and it wasn't your fault, it could be possible for those that caused the injury to cover the costs of private treatment. So, that's free private medical treatment at absolutely no cost to you. Now, if your injury was caused by someone else and you want to see if you're entitled to free private treatment, we have a free phone helpline where you can talk to one of our team on a no obligation basis where they'll aim to get you the help that you need. Call us now on 0800 652 7676 and we'll talk through your case with you in order to help you establish what your options are. Dealing with a professional medical expert will mean that they're able to advise you on posterior shin splints, shin pain at rest, shin splints from walking, shin splints exercises, anterior shin splints, shin splints definition, shin splints treatment, and shin pain, not shin splints. A lot of what you're about to hear isn't common knowledge. You should bear in mind that these things could make all the difference in you having a successful or failed recovery from your broken shin injury. If you're going into surgery, it's extremely important that you understand the risks and very important that you bear in mind our top five things that you should know for broken shin surgery. Now the last one is something which you might find very shocking, so do keep watching. Number one, our first thing that we think you should know is that if an accident happened in a public place or on the site of somewhere like a business, ask for help. Being injured can sometimes feel embarrassing and you might not want to make a fuss, but reporting your accident to staff will not only mean that they'll be able to assist you, but this may help to prevent further accidents occurring. Ensure that they complete an accident report with you and this will mean that the details of how the accident happened will be recorded should they need to be referred to at a later date for any reason. Number two, once you suspect you have broken a bone, you should rest it straight away. Do not put any weight on it and place it in as comfortable position as possible and keep it raised. Number three, gently place a cold compress on the affected area. This should reduce swelling. Number four, ensure that you're in a healthy condition before the surgery, being as active as possible, healthy lifestyle, Ensure that you have strong cardio health levels. If you're deemed too unwell, you may be denied the treatment that you need. Number five, finally find out the name of the surgeon who is performing your surgery and run the name through Google to make sure that there are no horror stories about them. Having surgery is an important event in anyone's life, so do yourself a favor and research who you are handing your life over to. Now, a lot of surgeries aren't as routine as you may think. Having surgery isn't as simple as going to the barbers and unlike getting a bad haircut, the implications could be life-changing and even result in you never coming round from the anaesthetic. If you have the option to go private, do so. This will reduce waiting times and may improve the level of care you receive. 42% believe that the NHS offered a lower standard of care and would feel safer going privately according to the National Health Survey 2015. Now, as seen here in this Daily Mail article, one NHS surgeon performed botch operations on over 200 women, and most recently, 11,000 patients have been recalled to have their treatments reassessed after it became clear that a single surgeon had performed needless and botched surgery on patients. Thankfully, this particular surgeon has been sentenced to a 20-year prison sentence, but we do really think when it comes to your health, it pays to be mindful of who you're handing your well-being over to. So are you going under the knife after being involved in an accident which has resulted in a broken shin bone? If so, we highly recommend that you take just a few minutes to ensure that you're going to receive the best care possible. Now remember, if the accident was caused by someone else, you could be entitled to free 
private treatment. Once again, to find out if this applies to you, simply call our free phone helpline on 0800 652 7676 and we'll do all we can to assist you. Have you been involved in an accident in your awaiting surgery? If so, let us know how long you've been waiting for in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Of course, the circumstances of each incident are never the same. And whether or not you believe you have a valid claim, it's always advisable that you speak to an expert on the matter. So if you'd like further assistance, we are personal injury claim specialists. We offer free, friendly advice on no win, no fee compensation claims. So there's not a penny to pay if you lose. Get the maximum compensation that you deserve. We're rated 4.8 out of five stars and we have specialist solicitors with up to 30 years experience. It'll only take just a couple of minutes for our team who'll be happy to answer any questions you may have to help establish whether or not you have a valid claim. Call now on 0800 652 7676 or visit our live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe as we'll be uploading helpful videos just like this one on a regular basis. You can also check out one of our recommended videos or head over to legalexpert.co.uk where you can read community questions on our forum, get free advice from our live chat, read articles and seek assistance for compensation on a no-win, no-fee basis with your personal injury claim.